Drunk Yogis, and welcome to your very first at-home drunk yoga practice. This is your happy hour, and this is your invitation to let go of whatever this week, this month, or even this year has brought you so that we can wind down together. Cool. Let's get this yoga party started. All right, Drunk Yogis, come to the top of your mats. Bring your feet and legs together. Bring your wine to heart center and close your eyes. Imagine that I'm filling up the room with the energy of this pose. So if you want, you can close your eyes and just feel how big your energy is expanding. For good measure, you can shake your asana a little bit. So be gentle with yourselves. If you lose your balance, no big deal. Reach that left leg back. I like to call this one airplane pose. So the heart is reaching forward as the arms are out to the side. Rotate inner left thigh up. Perfect. The most advanced form of this posture is to smile. And now here, something else I like to do is spin the glass around my waist. <sighs> Requires a very specific kind of presence and focus to be able to do all of this. Five, four, three, two, and on one, we are not done, lift higher, and then we're gonna do this little switch cup action. Yeah, you should feel this. Allow your thoughts to melt into the ground with your breath. Exhale. Bring that glass back to heart center. And take a sip. Open your eyes. And cheers. Hashtag namaste responsibly. All of these poses can be found, plus more, in my Drunk Yoga book. It's called Drunk Yoga 50 Wine and Yoga Poses to Lift Your Spirits. It can be bought online and wherever books are sold. So remember to lift your spirits first so that you can uplift others. And I hope that you spend the rest of your evening drunk on joy. Cheers. <laughs> All right, now where's the wine?